Okay, is the frequency in use, please? Mike Zero, Romeo, Sierra, Foxtrot asking if the frequency is in use. Is the frequency in use? This is M0, Sugar, Gold, Sugar asking if the frequency is in use. No, I think we're okay on this one, Stuart. M0, SGS. This is M0, RSF. I'm on 144, decimal 319, decimal 75. So I'm just slightly... A little bit low, um, Stuart. 144.319.75 is what frequency I'm bang on, Stuart, and you're sounding absolutely fine, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. That's uh, that's all I was concerned about. It's, uh, I'm just uh, I don't know what sort of signal I'm uh, I'm putting out of this. Uh, currently, I'm on 25 watts. Uh, I just want to uh, uh, up the game if I can. Uh, just bear with me a second. Okay, Chris, that's it. Uh, just below peak, that's 95 watts on the 2 meter SSB. Hope you're still getting me fine. This is M0 Sugar Go Sugar, back to you. Right, I don't know if somebody called break then. Um, M0 SGS, this is M0 RSF. You're 59 plus 30 dB, and I've not got the preamp on. I've switched it off, Stuart. I've got no compression on. This is just the ICOM 705, as it is. Um, you probably did the same with your 7300, you've got audio settings, haven't you? Well, I used to have an Icon 7400, so I've got the bass on, I think, plus 2 and the treble on plus 3. That's what I had the Icon 7400. I know this is a lot different radio, but I set them at that and I seem to be getting good reports, Stuart. But, uh, yeah, 30 dB over, Stuart, with uh, with the preamp switched off, over. There is a brake station there. I had the brake call as well. Yeah, you give me uh, an S plus 20. S plus 20. Uh, at, as you are on 10 watts. So uh, I don't think I'll be making much difference to you the distance we're at. The brake station, this is Mike Zero Sierra Gold Sierra with M0 R, uh, RSF. Do you would like to bring it through, sir? Okay, M0 RSF. This is 2 Echo Zero, Alpha Queen Queen 20 AQQ. Yeah, I've got you on 319.75 and the audio's hot on. Uh, I can't put the audio on your 100 watts from 2E0AQQ. Yeah, 2E0AQQ, M0 Sugar Go Sugar. Many thanks, Greg. Uh, I think we have spoken before on 450 uh, on the little, uh, the little net that's run on there. But uh, yeah, it's good to hear you. Uh, how are you getting Chris? I'm getting Chris uh, perfect uh, as we are. His audio is absolutely uh, fine with me. Uh, back to you, uh, Greg. Give uh, M0 RSF a shout. And his name's Chris. Okay, M0 RSF 2E0 AQQ. Yeah, um, give me a shout and I'll give you a proper report. 2E0 AQQ. M0 RSF with the group. Good afternoon, Greg. Good evening. We've spoke before. It's uh, Chris over in Leeds using the Icom 705. Uh, I'm using 10 watts now with the compression on, Greg. Uh, I think you're getting me okay. We've worked before. I know we have. 2E0 AQQ. Back to you, M0 RSF with the group. Yeah, we have worked before, Chris. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember now. Um, yeah, I do remember. Yeah, fine business, Greg. That's what I've got. One four four three one nine point seven five. You're five and nine. You're you're five and nine with the preamp on, uh, Greg. Audio's absolutely fine. You're sounding okay. So ten watts from the Icom seven oh five is this, Greg, with the compression on. That's uh, that's full tilt on this little QRP radio. Okay, back to you, Stuart. Um, are you using the TS two thousand, Stuart? Did you say, or or, or a different radio? Uh, if you told me it's gone over my head, I've. Uh, 
tough day, Stuart. I'm looking forward to this week off. M0 SGS, M0 RSF. And it's, I imagine compression might be too much for you at this uh, such a close uh, range, Stuart, over. It's a bit meaty, but I can handle it. <laughs> I'm using the TS2000. The chances are that it's going to be my radio that's going to be off. If you two are both receiving me, uh, and you know my voice, on uh, one, uh, 144, um, if, if you've got me like 25 kcs, uh, 25 hertz sound, or 25, uh, I can't remember what you said now, is it 1975? No, it has to be 2975. <laughs> yeah, whatever. If I'm 20, if I'm 20 odd out, then uh, it chances are it's this radio, which is why I need to get it looked at and uh, put bang on. As I always do, uh, Walt usually uh, helps me with that when he goes to meet Dave. But, uh, but I, I guess there's not going to be much meeting so long as COVID's on. But uh, I can I can live with that. I can live with it being uh, just slightly out. It's uh, it's likely to be my side, not yours. Uh, back to you, Chris. Uh, M0 RSF with uh, 2E0 AQQ M0 SDS. Yeah, all copied, Stuart. Uh, I won't worry about it. That is absolutely... It's only a tiny, tiny discrepancy, that. And you know the score with SSB, don't you, Stuart? You, you tune round uh, so the receive is happy, so you're happy with it. Um, Dave, by the way, fixed an 817 for me. The power connector on the back. It's a common fault with the FT817. Um, I've turned the compression off as well on this radio. Um, and he fixed it. I sent it away. I think he was about two weeks or something like that. He sent it back. And a good price. A very good price. So well happy with it. I wasn't going in a 817 with a soldering iron, Stuart. No, it's an expensive mistake in if uh, if it goes wrong. But no, I won't worry about it. I just uh, I just keep as, as it sounds fine. As I say, I used to like my TS2000. Are you using it with a fist mic, Stuart? Or uh, is it an MC60 desk mic you get for those? But no, I won't worry. Back to you, Stuart. M0 SGS with 2E0 AQQ. M0 RSF. Standard fist mic, um, Chris. I think there's another brake station there. Let's uh, pass it over to uh, the other brake station. This is M0 SDS with the uh, 2E0 AQQ and uh, M0 RSF in the group. Would you like to bring it through, sir? Hello, Mike Zero Lima Delta Whiskey. I'm Zero LDW, George. You know me from uh, Oddly Amateur Radio Society. George, the Argentinian guy. Yeah, good evening to you, George. Sounding well. Sounding very well, sir. Nice to uh, meet you on the uh, SSB channel. <laughs> oh, good to hear you, George. Hope you're well. Hope the family are, are doing okay and hope you're, uh, you're staying safe and in good health. Over to you, George. Yeah, hello, everybody. Mike Zero, Lima, Delta Whiskey. Just checking for the first time the audio and then and the equipment here. M0 LD, M0 LDW on the group, M0 RSF, good evening George, trust you well, 
uh, your five five nine plus. The audio has got more. It's more top end, uh, more more treble on it rather than bass. Good DX audio, I would say. I don't know if you're running with the uh, compression, uh, but I'm running ten watts at the moment. I've switched the compression off because uh, Stuart's just up the road from me and a little bit higher. But good to hear you, George. I heard you. I'm sure I heard you on ten meters for the CQ Worldwide contest. I think you were calling CQ as I tuned round. Uh, but yeah, the 705 is working well. Very, very good receiver. SDR receiver in this one, and it? It's working well and uh, enjoying the radio. But yeah, just a little bit of top end. I don't know if you've got compression. George may be turning that off. Uh, but it sounds okay. You know, I'm not being detrimental to it or anything like that. Just slightly higher pitch than what Stuart is. Just back to you, Stuart. And then if you want to get a report from perhaps uh, Greg, 2E0AQQ maybe. So back to you, George. m 0 ld double. M0 LDW on the group, M0 RSF. Can't get my words out. Okay then, George, yeah, QE0AQQ is turning. Yeah, well, um, like I say, I'm using 7100 also, which is 7100 by ICOM. I've got my um, um, compressed tab, I think it's turned up at the moment, but I've got my CX bass on plus three and my CX treble on minus two, on minus two, and um, no compression. With compression there now, that's, full com that's compression on the microphone, so, um, yeah, that, that's how I run. I've got the same radio, 700. And I'm using the SM30, SM30 there, George, from 2E0AQQ. Yeah, OK. Good. Good to know. Uh, the, only, the only issue was we hear <laughs> how to remove the compressor. The 7100 is quite new. So I set up everything for DX, and then I forgot that I have friends locally that will not enjoy my audio. So I will put low cut off. Let's see what happens if I But um, if you want to lower your compression there, George, if you go on to menu two on your radio and press and hold the compression button in, where you, you know the button that you turn your compressor on, if you press and hold it, you can turn your compression up and down on the radio, and so you get less compression there, George, um, if, you, if you don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, without compression, without compression, and without low cut. So now, raw audio, this is my voice. If it doesn't sound well, well, <laughs> I cannot change it. Sounds perfect, that, yeah. The, the, there's no more high, you know, and there's no more DX high. It's more natural, but they're basic, natural tone to you, George. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. So, well, so thanks for the info about the menu. Uh, this is something that I don't use uh, quite much because I normally do just uh, practice DX and, well, compression. Compression is just maximum top top of the top uh, anyway uh, so i'm wonder about your setup basically what's your antenna if everyone can tell me what are you using right now i will be very very happy so my antenna actually is not beaming into into the east or west or or north it's just to the south uh, is the position that i normally use to make the antenna rest on the rotator so basically i have a rotator on the base of the pneumatic mast and i turn all the pneumatic mast with the six meters yagi and as well as the uh the two meters yagi so what's your antenna well i don't know let's start with uh, m0 sgs Stuart. Yeah, Roger, Roger, George. Well, you could be giving your, giving me a five nine plus, five nine plus into Putsy, and uh, my antenna, George. Uh, my antenna is the Diamond X five ten, dual bander, for two and seventy at this present time. I will be running a uh, uh, a horizontal uh, antenna for uh, for contesting. But uh, uh, probably a, a Yagi, five or six element Yagi for two meters. But uh, at this present moment in time, George, I am using a vertical 
X510 by Diamond. Uh, back to you, George. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, you are doing well. So, uh, yeah, if you if you make a Yagi, will be good. Well, personally, I prefer cubical quads, this kind of antennas, but uh, really, the six element Yagi, the, the LFA came free, free to me, so I will never say no to such an offer. So I, uh, I'm using it, but uh, I'm not totally happy. It's, it's, it's not about the antenna itself. It's like I like a bit more gain, so I'm probably I'm going to build something bigger. Uh, but in, not in the near future. Now it's, the weather is not fine, so it's not nice just to start to build anything. Um, and, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, just for HF, for HF, I have a, um, a German uh, fiberglass mast. It's not the one that you are guessing. It's not, it's not the spider pole. I have the GRP mast from uh, DX wire that is uh, tougher or stronger or whatever you like to call it. And it's a bit taller. It's 13.7 uh, 13 meters tall. And uh, I have a wire vertical, a wire vertical uh, using the full extension of the mast and then uh, it comes like an L for 80 and 160 but the antenna tunes uh, quite well I have a remote antenna tuner on the base of the mast so basically it tunes from uh, 160 to, to, 70, to 70 megahertz so no problem at all uh, so that's just set up free, uh, here so I'm curious now I'm curious about uh, the rest of uh, the guys here so what about your antenna so let's start with uh, yeah uh, let's start with you M0 RSF group M0 LDW M0 LDW on the group M0 RSF audio now massive improvement George for local QSOs for the X no doubt I'll put your compression on but that is the audio before was fine but now much more uh, much more pleasant on the ears much more easier to listen to uh, the antenna diamond v2000 vertical about 35 feet on the back of the house let's say the icom 705 with no compression but much much more pleasant audio george right guys thanks for the two meter ssb qsos i'm gonna go have a quick uh, bite to eat and then it's uh, darts night for me it's the Grand Slam of darts, and I do like to follow my darts. I have done for a long while. But really nice to hear some activity on 2 meter SSB. We shall uh, have to do it again sometime. So, Stuart, um, thanks very much. Thanks so much to you, Greg. Have a good evening. And you too, George. Uh, I'll be knocking about tomorrow um, and the rest of the week, probably, because I have a week off work now. So, back to you, Stuart, to uh, tie the ribbons, and uh, we shall speak soon. Everybody's sounding well. M0 SGS with 2E0 AQQ and M0 LDW. M0 RSF signing. Back to you, Stuart.